from Kansas State University, Dr. Michael Dryden, an expert on fleas and ticks because he is a veterinary parasitologist and veterinarian of the year. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it was an honor in New York City recently? Yes, I was a, uh, provided the, the, uh, the award in New York City uh, by Dogs and Review uh, magazine uh, prior to Westminster. I bet you didn't get the flea vote because your job is to eliminate those suckers. Uh, so I get the letters, I get the emails, we receive the phone calls on our radio shows from listeners saying, hey, listen, I live in Florida, in some cases maybe Georgia, but always somewhere in the South, maybe Alabama, Arkansas, and I've done everything right to try to get rid of the fleas, and they are here, and maybe here more than ever before. So is there some resistance going on to some of the products? You know, that's a really good question because I hear the same things all the time. But in all honesty, we cannot document resistance to these modern array of flea products. Uh, the interesting thing is you're right. Florida, the south, is where most of the flea infestations occur. Uh, but two years in a row, you know, back 2009 and 2010, we were down there doing our field studies in Tampa. And the products worked really well. And in fact, one of the products we hear a lot about is Frontline, Frontline Plus. Mm -hmm. And two years in a row down there in Tampa, we actually controlled flea infestations in those homes when we administered the products to every dog and every cat. Okay, so all those people writing me and calling, what are they quite not doing right then? What's happening? Where are we missing it? Well, I think there's a combination of factors. There's, it's nice to say there's one thing, but there's really not. One of the big issues is you've got to treat every dog and every cat in that house every 30 days with these products and recognize that once you have a flea infestation, it can take up to three months to eradicate that infestation. Okay, the, I want to I stop you there only because I, I think this is a huge point. People tend to treat their dogs as we're keeping cats indoors more, which is something I'm thrilled about. I think that's a good thing. We tend to say, all right, that cat doesn't go outside. That cat doesn't need to be treated. Explain why that in of itself would be a problem. Well, the problem is that the fleas that are on our cats are the same fleas that are on our dogs. And we've got to remember that those female fleas on that dog or cat are laying 40 to 50 eggs a day. So if you've got two dogs and a cat in the house and you're treating your dogs, well, what are the fleas on the cat doing? Laying 40, 50 eggs a day, seeding that environment and causing a continuation of, their, of that infestation. And that is easily the single most common problem we face is that in multiple pet households, they just don't treat every dog and every cat every 30 days. Okay, and you were explaining when I interrupted you where there might be some gap here. Well, one of the issues we've got to also face is remember, once you start treating, you've already got the eggs and larvae and pupae within your environment. And so what we find in these studies going all the way back to 1996 is once you initiate flea control, it can easily take up to three months to eradicate that infestation. So a lot of people expect it to be over in a couple days or a couple weeks. It just doesn't happen that way. And the, and the data's always shown us it's taken up to three months to eradicate fleas in these homes. Is human nature part of the problem? When they are eradicated, we think, ah, we're on easy street now. And a month or two goes by without you using the product, or sometimes people just forget. Well, the biggest thing is once the problem is over, they stop. And they wait for it to happen again, and then we battle this problem all over again. The, the easiest thing to do is once you've eradicated the infestation, don't stop. Keep your animals on these long-term flea control products so we can prevent recurrence of infestation. Because what we have to recognize is in our outdoor environments, particularly in the southern part of the United States, we've got opossums that carry the same fleas on our dog or cats. We've got raccoons that carry the same fleas on our dogs and cats. And we have all the feral cats out there. And that's one of the big issues we faced in our studies in Tampa is large numbers of feral cats in the environment walking through your yards all the time, depositing flea eggs. And in fact, the survey last year, 80% of the pet owners in our studies recognize that they see feral cats in their yards. All right, so, and you can even bring in the fleas yourself on your own shoes, which is why I suspect that's yet another reason why your pets need to be protected. Oh, absolutely. We see permanently indoor cats with fleas all the time. Okay, absolutely. so give one sentence of advice for people to do with all the products out there. What should they do? Go to your veterinarian, have your veterinarian recommend what product that they prefer within their area, and then apply that product to every dog and every cat in your house every 30 days. As directed. And if you have any questions, ask your veterinarian. Oh, there's a website that you offer more information to consumers. Um, my website, I have drmichaeldryden.com. drmichaeldryden.com. A veterinary parasitologist. I bet you didn't even know there was such a thing.